Okay, wow. Hi, I'm Lydia and I live in the beautiful island Jamaica. But I'm about to make one of the biggest steps of my life by moving to Japan. <laughs> I should be more excited about this, but I'm actually scared out of my mind. Um, I know I look young, but I'm actually 28 years old. And the reason why I'm so scared about this move, well not scared, but you know, anxious about it, is because this will be the first time that I'm leaving home for more than a month. And it's just, it's a scary thought. And I know that usually around this age, 28, that most Americans or North Americans, Europeans, they would have moved out of home for a long time and been on their own and be doing grown up stuff. But no, not in Jamaica. No, in Jamaica we kind of stick with the family for a good while before. Save some cash, you know, go and do masters and stuff. Because that's what I did. I completed my undergraduate um, and then I went, I've been working and while working I completed my masters. So now it's the next step because usually around this time people decide, oh, let's settle down and start a family. I have no one to settle down and start a family with. So I, I thought, no, let this be the time I decide to go travel the world and do something different and go explore. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm moving to Japan in three weeks, but I'm leaving Jamaica next week, next week, Tuesday, because today is the 5th of March, 2015, and I'll be leaving the island on the 10th, five more days, the 10th of March. I'm going to be staying with my sister for a while and catch up with her do some winter shopping because I'm from Jamaica we don't have snow we don't have cold weather and right now where I'm going it's nine degrees Celsius I've never experienced nine degrees Celsius before so that's that's gonna be a challenge but I'm up for it so I'll be going next week I leave the island I leave my home my beloved Jamaica so it's time to do something new, something different, go out and see the world. Yeah. So what will I be doing in Japan? I'll be teaching English as a second language. Yes. Um, I'm not going to name the company that I'm working with because I don't know their policy on social media and talking about them. So I don't want to get fired before I get there. So what I will say, it's not Jet. I actually applied for Jet right after completing my undergraduate and they rejected me. As if how dare they but anyways I'm over that I got over that I decided to do my masters instead so whatever but I linked up with another company that does the same thing which is hire English speaking nationals from countries and send them over there but unlike jet um, with this company I have to pay for my own flight and I have to pay for startup costs which is eh, you know but we'll work it out um, so that's it. I'll be teaching English in a high school. I found that out recently. And that's actually a scary thought because, I don't know, you can't tell right now, but I'm, I'm a wee little person. And so I'll be teaching senior high school students. I hope they don't tower over me and I hope they don't look at me and like, oh, small sensei. Yeah, we, we don't care about that sensei. I hope they show me respect that I deserve. So that's the hope. Everything will work out. I have some teaching experience, not in a classroom setting, but I teach learn to swim. I taught learn to swim for five years. Oh, that was an amazing experience. Um, and although I, I, my, my degree isn't in teaching, you don't have to have a degree in teaching to do this. It's actually in environmental sciences. Both degrees are in, based in environmental sciences and marine biology, which is uh, so this this journey is actually good for me because I want to go into teaching, teaching biology or lecturing. So I'm going to get that experience instead of going to teacher's college because I decided last year I don't want to do any more school ever again. <laughs> that was just a hard, challenging situation for me. So I'm going for the experience, the opportunity to go to Japan, a country I've been obsessed with since I was a wee little baby. and. <laughs> A show, there was actually a show called Yoshin, 
Oshing, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, that came on about this little girl living in this Japanese community. And I just wanted to learn about it from there, so I'm going to Japan, just like Yoshin. And of course, the culture in Japan is amazing. It's completely different from here. One, a complete 180 or 360. I'm bad with angles. But um, that's going to be interesting because in Jamaica, we're loud and we're raucous and we're rowdy and we touch feely. And in Japan, they're very demure and they're quiet and they have lower voices. So that's going to be fun adapting to. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to make the best of this opportunity. So I'm getting prepared. What I'll do is this vlogging or YouTubing that I'm going to start up is to show from a Jamaican perspective moving to Japan. So I'm going to be vlogging about the things I did to prepare before and actually go in there. Maybe a little of my DC New York trip and hopefully show people in Jamaica that this is a great opportunity that you can go off and teach and learn and travel and see the world and become you know a better person after the end um, so yeah that's what this blogging is about I'm showing you Japan from a Jamaican point of view um, oh and I mentioned pre preparation and preparing for this trip you know I my placement where I'm going, I don't need, it's not a driving placement, I technically don't need a driver's, li um, a driver's license, but since I have my Jamaican driver's license, I decided to get international permit today, and that process was just to go to our island revenue office, the tax office, where you get your driver's license, and all you do, you walk in, you fill out a, f um, a form, and they give you this, this is my international permit to drive so I'll have that So in case someone wants to lend me their car in Japan I'll have this to drive around and go cruising so that process wasn't bad at all it was easy I heard um, actually getting the Japanese like, driver's license is harder so in a year if I have to go through that I'll be, I'll be vlogging about it and letting you know how it goes so that was preparation for today going to get the international driver's permit and I live in five days so I have a lot to do. I have a lot of people to see and say goodbye to and hug up and all these things. It's going to be sad. It's going to be really, really sad. Actually, my last day of swimming, teaching learn to swim my babies, um, I'm going to say bye to them on Saturday and I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to cry. Last week, Friday, I said bye to my main, uh, uh, my main employment. And that was sad because I've been, I've actually known everyone there since birth. <laughs> it's kind of like a family um, connection. So that was really sad. And that was a great experience, learning um, experience for me working there for five, over five years. So, I mean, it's time to grow. It's time to do new things and go out in the world like a real adult. No more help from mommy and daddy, who I will miss at the is. The level of people I'll miss, I'll miss mommy and daddy up here, my pets, <laughs> and then my friends. I love my friends and everything, I'm really going to miss them, but I can talk to them on Skype and everything. But I can't talk to my pets on Skype. I can ask my parents, but they're going to think I'm crazy and not do it. So I'm really going to miss my pets, my, my two dogs and my cat, who I'm obsessed with. So that's going to be one of the hardest parts for me, saying bye to them and my parents. But my friends are awesome, they're supportive, my parents are over the moon, they can't wait. Mommy keeps saying she's going to cry, if she cries I'll cry and I'll just ball at the airport. But it's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, and I'm excited. I just said that already, what is wrong with me? So, first vlog, I'm going to Japan, it's going to be great. I keep telling myself that because speaking it into being. That's what you should always do in life. Speak things into being. So that's that. 